Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct another figure in isometric drawing. And the figure is this. Now if you look at this figure, we have two axes. We have the we have the length which is 80 from here to this point is the length and from here to here is what the width so what you do is when you hear the word isometric the first thing you should do is to draw your two axes the vertical which is this faint line right then you slip this down and you draw the horizontal from this point here and you turn it this way round to get the other 30 degree so this is what we are having I can move my T square to this point just to draw the line this way to show that it is inclined at 30 degrees. That means from here to here, that means this is the angle 30. So it's inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. This is the horizontal line here, right? Now, the next thing you need to know we said earlier that uh, this point you see here. From here to this point is what? 80. That means from this point here to this side is what? 80. So I'm going to measure my 80. So with the help of my meter rule, I'll place it at this point here. Let me take it down a little bit. And I'll measure 80. So from 1 to from 0 to this point is 80. Right? And if you look at this point too, from here to here is 44. I hope you can view that. So this is what? 44. From here to here is what? 44. So I'm going to measure 44 from this point. From here, I'll measure 44. Right? So this is 0. This is 40. And this is 44 here. After I've done that, I'll take my meter rule and I'm going to elongate this. This my set square, my uh, my t square. I'll place it, take it to that point, and I'll draw a vertical line up. And I'll move to this other point too. I'll draw a vertical line up. Now, doing that, if you look at this diagram again. The total height of this, let's check it together. From here to here is 10, to here is 10, that is 20. This is on the same plane. The here to here again is 10, that is 30, right? Now from this center here, the radius from here to here is what? Is 20, right? So we have 30 plus radius of 20 that is what 50 so my total height is 50 so I'll measure 50 I'll measure I'll measure 50 upward so my total height is 50 so this is 50 here from 0 to 50 to 5 is 50 now we'll close it up. This point is like this point here. So whatever I did here, I will do it at this point too. So take my t square to this point, place my c square, my t square, and I will draw my 30 degree from this point to touch this line. You can see it's touching here, and I will turn it this way around also to do the next one too to touch this line. Right now, this point also 
is like this point two. From here, if I draw my horizontal line, it's going out of the box. So I want it to form a closed loop. So I'll turn it this way. Right? And I'll move it to that point where I'm going to draw this next line. You can see that. I'm going to draw the next line. And I'll move it to this point too. Here. I'll move it to that point. They must all be in 30 degree. Watch my previous video, you get to understand this. I'm moving this. Right? Now, I have formed the box that I want to carve out from. So, bring out my figure. I will now see what is really happening. Now, if you look at this now, the thickness from here to here. And that is what, if you look at it very well, from here to here is what, 10, then another 10, so making 20, 10, 10 each, right? So I'm going to measure 10, 10 each. Now see what I will do. I'll measure 10, 10 each with my meter rule from this point. I'll measure 10. This is 10, first 10, and this is the next 10, right? So, I'll take my meter rule, and I'll take it to that point. I'll move it to that, let's zoom this down. I'll move it to this point, the first 10. I'll draw my front line, the next 10. I'll draw my faint line. See, I'm using faint line to draw. Now, if you look at our diagram here, you discover that the second ten that you're seeing here is ticking to this point here. So I'm going to tick in the second ten. This is the first first ten, the second ten. So I'll tick in the second ten. So from here, I'm going to tick in this. right so let's go back now this is a content that I take it now if you look at the diagram again I'll now place it at this point here and I'll mark 6 to the left and I'll mark 6 to the right. It's very good for you to use the compass in this aspect. So that is my 12. So I will now take my set square to that point. This point. Let's take it up a little bit. To that point. I'll just take it up a little bit, just up. And then up here too. Right? So what is the height of it? The height of this point here is what? 10. So I'll measure 10. So with my meter rule, I'll measure 10. So from 0 to 1. Is 10. So, what I'll do is take my C square. Since this guy is ticking from here to here, is ticking. I'm going to tick in here. Right? Now, ticking from this point to this point. They're not closed. Then from here to this point, right, and uh, close it up just to form that shape.
No. I brought out this ship out in front of it. I'm copying and I'm pasting. So let's see. Let me take it down a little bit. Now, if you look at it very well, this guy is taking in. So I'm going to take it in all through. So let's just do that. I'll take here in first. Faint line. I also take here in. Faint line. Take care in too. Faint line. Also take care in too. Faint line. Now this is what I have done. Now if you look at here at this point, let's take it up a little bit. If you look at this point here, it's going in. So what you use, you must always use your set square of 30 degree to draw any line. So if I place it at this point here, I will take it in. Right? And this guy is sticking from here to this last point here. So I'm going to take in it too. From here to this last point here. And um, what else again? And just you know, take it up from this point. You just copy and paste anyhow you can draw it. So I've taken it up, right? Also, now the next thing we want to draw now is the circle. Now, what do you notice in iso in um, isometric? If you want to draw a circle. All the four part of the square is in the form of a all the four part of the square must be equal. So if I have this radius here to be what 20, right? So what I will simply do is that the circle, the center of the circle starts from here, this center here. Let's zoom it and there you see. It starts from this center here, right? So from here to this point is what? 20. So what I'll do is, let's take it down. What I'll do is I'll take my compass and I will measure 20 on my meter rule. I'll measure 20 on my meter rule. This is 20 here. You can see that, and um, I'll place it at this point here because the center of the circle is on the second turn. Look at the center of the circle is on the third turn, Abby. So this is the first turn, second turn, and this is the third turn. So I'm going to place it at that point, and I'll mark here. Right, I'll come to the center. And I'm going to mark here. I'll slash up and I'll slash down. See what I'm doing now from that center point that I mark here. I'll take my set square, I'll move to that point. I'll just draw my vertical line like this. You can see that. So I can see use my compass so that I'll place it here. I've already marked 20 left and right so I'm marking it on this line up and down so that is what I'm having so what I will simply do here is this I'll make it form a square so at this point I'll project this upward at this point it's already up on its own so I'll make it lie down this way and join these two points together. Everything should be faint line. I'll come here too. I'll make it touch here too. Faint line. Now you can see I have brought out the shape of the square. I have brought out what shape of the square. So how will I draw my curve here? This is how I will draw it. 
I will take my metal rule. If you look at this end hmm, and this end with this end and this end. This end and this end looks longer. So I will draw a diagonal joining this last point and this point. Right? Now, yeah, after joining the diagonal, you join this point here to this vertical line here. This point to this point with a faint line. You also join this horizontal line to that same point again. And this is what we have here. Now I've gotten this. And I've gotten this. So look at what will happen. From this point here. I'll place it at this end here. I will take it to this line here. Right, and I'm going to draw my arc. Can you see that? I also place it at this point here. Take it to this point, and I'll draw my other arc that will touch the horizontal line here. So that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Sorry. And then you place it here. Right? You gauge it to touch in here. That is what you're going to do. Okay, you must come and touch the base. Check in. Now, when you've done that, you notice that this point is touching here. So that means this point, which is the same point here, I'm going to join it to touch here. So with the help of my rule, I can just move this point to this point here. Right? And this point is drawn straight down so with the help of me i'll take it down right now we've done this part of it the next part is the other part so let's do the other part and see how it goes if you look at the thickness here the thickness here is 10 cm because it's 12 because here is also what 12 so 12 all through that means from this point here I'm going to measure 12 from here I'll measure 12 let's just this way I'll measure 12 this is 10 11 12 Right? So for me to use my 12. Now, after doing that, I'll make it form a box. I didn't show you that. I mean I measure 12 from here. I measure 12 to this point. Right? I just place my compass this way. My uh, ruler this way. On this point, I place my rule here. Mm hmm and I measure 12. So from this point, 0, this is 10, this is 11, and this is 12. That's what I did here. So use them for my box. So I'll now take my meter rule, place it on this point, and draw my horizontal line. Right? And I'll close it up too. From this end point, this beginning this is the end here, so I'll just join it to this point here, right? And this point here, too. This point here is this point here, 
Can you see it's thickened? So I'll thicken it to, to make things easier for me. Right? And I will close here up. So this point here I'll bring it down to form that box. So like I'll just take it down and join it with this this point here. Even this one too, I may do the same thing here too if I want to. Just for it to form a box. So, if you look at it now, I formed the box there. This is the thickness. So, I'll repeat the same process. I'm going to do what? Repeat the same process. So the way I join diagonal from here to here, I'll join this point from here to this point here. So, I'll do that. From here, I'm repeating the same process I did initially. So, I've done that. I'll transfer the point. Right, so I can take this, place my compass in, on top of my t my set on top of my t square, and look at this point I have here. Now I use this point here, Abby, to get this arc here. So I'll place transfer this point to this other horizontal line here. Look at the line I've transferred. Just move it to this point, so they'll be on the same position. I'll just mark. Now what I'll do is I'll take my compass, since I place this here, I place this here to get this, right? Then I'll place this here to get the next one too. So that's what I'm going to do. Can you see that? And I'll place it at this center here that I marked here. Do I, pl I place it here to get this, right? And I'll place it here to get the other point too. But I'll stop here. So now I'll just take my meter rule, my C square, I'll move it to that point. And I'm going to join these two together. Right, so we have that. Now, if you look at this, there's a line here that goes to touch this. So I'll place my C square, my T square. Now take it to this point, and I'm going to drag it in. You can see that. Now what is remaining? If you can look at something else is remaining, and that is the circle inside. So you are going to repeat the same process to get the circle inside. So if you look at the rate of the circle is six because the diameter is twelve, meaning the radius is six. When you see this this way, this means diameter. So it means you are going to divide the twelve by two to have six. I'll use my six to draw this curve here. I'll be having something like this. So just like we did, you measure radius six on your meter rule. This is radius six here. This is radius six here. You measure it on your meter rule six, and you place it on this. You mark up, left, right. Mm, and down and make it form a box so forming the box I'll be having something like this we be having something like this faint line and this one too flip it down I will cover it up on that point, you'll be ruling it. 
Now I've got in another box there. So it's on that box I'm going to repeat the same fit. So how will I do? I've already got in my diagonal here, right? So that means I'm going to draw a line. Let me zoom it bigger so you see. So that means I'm going to draw a line from this point here. I'll draw that line to touch this Y here, just like what I did when I was drawing the bigger ellipse circle. So draw this. I'll draw it from the same point to touch the horizontal here. Now I've got in this and this point. So with the help of my compass, it's very small, but we have no choice. From here, I'm going to draw a line from. I'm going to draw a line from this point. And I have this. I see that. And I'll place it at the center here. To get this. You see, this is very small. So I'll also do, place it here too. To the same thing here. Right, so if you place it at this point, it's too small, so it is not. So what I'll do here will be that so you place it at that point here, yeah? and you get this. And this is here too, I get that aspect too. So by the time you are done, you are having something like this. Or something like this. You can also use a French curve if you want to at this point here. Let's look for the one we can adjust. We can use this. We can use this. But we can use this. Right? Or we can use this. So I can use this guy with my French curve and I will draw my circle there. If I want to. So any of the choice. So this is what we have successfully drawn. Right, this is what we have successfully drawn. That is this shape here. You can draw it whatever way you can draw it, but ensure that whenever you are drawing it, you can start from anywhere. Ensure that when you are drawing it, you must use your what? 30 degrees set square to draw up any line. So you deal with 30 and what? 90. They must all be parallel to each other. And don't forget to give your dimension, it's very, very important. So if you find this video very helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.